Got a friend out in Vancouver, heard you had a murder in Toronto last night. Yeah, it happened to Jane and Finch. Anything that happens in Toronto happens to Jane and Finch. And that's a load of baloney. In this area of Ward 8, the last election, 16% of the people voted. 16. And the champion they say outside there said, oh, I was a winner of 16%. Where is that other 84%? When I came here today, I went to Brother Juma. I'm like, Brother Juma, this is the 10,000 news campaign and this and that. I'm like, whoa, he's like, no, 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 I'm not speaking today. I'm not speaking. Leave me alone. And I thought about it. I'm like, how come you're not speaking? You're all about speaking. You're all about speaking. So now I think about it. He's white. He shouldn't be speaking today. He's representing us. And so we should be speaking on his behalf and advocating for him. Our voices matter. Your voices matter. And if you think your voice doesn't count, you need to ask yourself and take a look in the mirror and remind yourself that each one of us has a voice, and that voice can be represented on October 25th when you go to make your mark. Is that here's a constituency that is not getting any deliveries for the things that it is paid for. I believe that this community deserved more than what it gets. It deserved more than social housing. It deserved more than the ghettoization. It deserved more than the stigma. But at this moment in time, our right to education is being violated with the possibility of five schools in our area that are about to close. Our right to health care is being taken away as our government officials are negotiating right now closing down Humber River Regional Hospital. And for residents like me who've been here for more than 20 years, you will know that it was called York Finch General Hospital. And it is a really important part of our community. Three medical buildings, two old age homes, 20 acres of empty land sitting near a Jane and Finch, 18 acres of land where the current hospital sits. And they're moving the son of a gun to 10 acres at Keel and Wilson, where you're gonna die in your ambulance trying to get there because the traffic is so thick. Our right to shelter and housing is facing revitalization and we are about to lose the houses at Shoreham Court. And lastly, a subway system is coming into our community. And although it is a positive change, where is our voice in all those decisions? In what ways have we honestly been consulted, not only spoken to, but to decide how we want change to occur? Who is going to benefit and how can we be involved? We need that commitment. Because if you don't speak and they know you don't vote, you get no representation. 16% is what they look at and said, well, they don't, they're not interested anyhow. And that is why we don't deliver anything there. We hear the bad press that goes on, the great talent that is here that is not known. But how come only certain things are known here? Because we allow the leadership around here has allowed that to happen has allowed some of the wonderful talent to be ignored, allowed the hospitals to be moved away, allowed for the resources that are not being given, and somehow it continue to be the whipping boy for the entire political process. That is why we need someone to sound, speak, and talk like us. We need a Tonyus Clark to be All right, uh, my name is Christian Levine. I have uh, worked with Jamal Clark in the aspect specifically of uh, community programming. Ever since I met Jamal Clark, uh, I can tell you from Echo, or rather Antonius, uh, he's always been a man of integrity, he's been a man of his word. He's always been sure to follow up. Uh, he always does everything, not just by the book, but at the end of the day, he actually gets results. And uh, I 100% support him uh, as far as his candidacy goes uh, for becoming counselor of this work. Uh, Jamal, I wish you the best of luck. Mr. Antonius Clark, I am very impressed with your platform, and I wish you success. I wish you encouragement, self-confidence, and success. So, run a good race, buddy.